What's up everybody? Welcome to the first walkthrough of Three Gun Rigs. I'm Adam Reiser. I'm a three gun shooter, rock climber, mountain biker, alpinist. And this is my van. So what are we looking at here? What is the, the vehicle? So this is a uh, 2017 four wheel drive Sprinter. It's the 170, so it's uh, the long wheelbase version. And um, yeah, we did the did the whole build out myself. The only thing I paid to have done was uh, paid somebody to install the back seat. That's out of a 75 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, Cause it's got seat belts on it. And it has have. the perfect 75. That, I hate that seat cover, but oh, you can't find it. any other seat covers this, for that size. This reminds seat. me of my childhood. It's, yeah, like, like all if, my dads and uncles had uh, all my dad the farm trucks had, had those. Yeah, and then I paid someone to install the side window there because I learned just enough cutting holes in the top to know I didn't want to cut holes in the side. Uh, so let's see, we put a swivel seat in here. So this, can, this window here? Yeah, this, uh, this one here. This one right here. Oh, this, this isn't yep. factory. Okay. Yep, so that's not factory. And then little sliders in the back. And then, uh, yeah, so we put a, a swivel seat up front so we have room to sit. Uh, built this shelf so we got room to store jackets and stuff. So um, what did you uh, what did you build this van for? Uh, because I live in my van every weekend. We're rock climbers and mountain bikers, so we travel all the time pretty much and climb and bike. And, you know, we're always in the desert or driving up to Squamish or driving to the valley or driving to wherever and uh, sitting in the van and, and you know, Two people and a dog and four bikes and a bunch of climbing gear in the back of a pickup truck it's pretty old pretty fast so uh we did some uh some big old blackout curtains up here in the, in the front and on all the doors so we can close it out you can just pull it off if you keep the lights nice and low uh then you can't tell anybody's inside so that lets us kind of like ninja baby when you need to or just you know get, get a little bit of privacy when you want to do that this shelf here again just like plywood and a little like trim piece and i just like fab some brackets but you can go to, um, there's like a Sprinter Expedition Vehicle store thing. This shelf is $800. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, nah, I'm gonna build it for like 12. That's cool. <laughs> Built all the uh, cabinets up top. So um, yeah, just standard cabinets. All the, uh, the cabinet latches are just little lobes off of some cams from work. And uh, we've got little uh, mountain bike uh, chain ring light switches down there. Built the countertop. This thing was actually made out of a, a remnant piece that I got from a friend and it was too short but too deep so we cut off the back and that's like a hundred pocket screws and a bunch of wood glue to make the thing long enough. Pro tip, do not uh, cheap out on your drawer slides. Buy the good ones because initially we bought the cheap ones and if you would forget to latch your drawers when you take a hard left all of your drawers would exit and that was a real problem. I rolled into a lot of campsites with like all the silverware and dishes and everything just like piled on the floor. <laughs> How does this cam work here? Oh, it's super simple. It's just the uh, bolt that goes through. So we got, as you turn this, it turns the little latch and we just have a little piece of aluminum right there. So turn this guy, slide it in, and then when we turn it up, it just goes behind the um, and for people that don't know, you said this is a cam, but what, what is it? What is it for? Uh, so a cam is a, a tool to protect track climbing. So it's a spring-loaded device that looks like a little umbrella. You pull the trigger, you stick it in a crack, and then it opens up and sticks on the inside of the crack. So each cam has four of these lobes on it. Sink up front, and then this is a bilge pump from a sailboat. So we just have like a little foot pump. So we can just run water whenever we need to. And we got uh, clean water, clean water, gray water, so it doesn't like pour out on the ground or anything. And let's see, we got a uh, stove here and the heater right there. Both run on a, a propane tank that's underneath the van. Um, we got fridge and all the electrical stuff runs on solar up top. So we have a, um, a, a battery underneath the seat charge controller for the solar is right there. This is to run uh, the heater and all of that stuff. And then this is a battery separator, which connects the house battery to the alternator. So if we're climbing in the winter or something like that, where we need a lot of juice and we don't have a whole lot of sun to work with, then we can get some more power through the alternator if we need to. But for pretty much everything, the solar's enough. 
and then uh, the all the electrical stuff is right here. So we got all the fuse blocks, um, hard shut off for the fridge when we're storing it, and then some baskets under here that are just kind of like large storage, you know, bike bags, dirty clothes bag, extra paper towels, you know, whatever we need. Uh, got a fan up top, because uh, super important, and then a couple slider windows up over the bed there more cabinets over the bed. Initially, this was gonna be cabinets like all the way front to back, but we wanted to be able to like sit up against the walls and stuff. And um, so we kind of changed up the, the build a little bit as we went. And that was definitely a good call. I do kind of wish I had like made the bed nicer because this is all just like plywood. So the mm. bed was literally the first thing to go in and like there wasn't walls, there wasn't anything. And I just like stuck the bed in there and I was done. And then I was like, I don't take all that out and stain it and do all this stuff. Yeah. And now I'm like, ah, man, it should look like this. And then uh, we got table over here. So we have a place to uh, have dinner, more climbing gear stuff. This is my, my favorite part of the whole van is this two by four right here. It's the first time I ever intentionally bought a two by four with a knot in it. So I wanted to class it up a little bit, you know? So it's actually like all the two by fours that were at the bottom of the pile that people leave. I was like, oh man, the, oh, that one looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, so, you know, gotta make effort where you can. And then, uh, yeah, we got um, some little Velcro around the edge here. We can put up a big old uh, bug screen if we want to. And then just, you know, these are uh, aid hooks for climbing and we, you know, hang jackets, stuff like that on there. And then these guys here are for the uh, the porch swing, which is basically a bosun's chair for climbers, but we can make ourselves a nice little porch swing to hang out if we want to. Oh, that's cool. And uh, then we got a couple like rock rings. So if we want to like, um, we're getting on something hard, you want to do some warm up and not just immediately get on the hardest thing at the crag, we can um, kind of warm up the fingers in here and, and uh, do that. And then the whole thing is insulated with a, a wool batting. So, um, that stuff right there. So it's all natural wool and, uh, which is really great to work with because it's not like fiberglass insulation that gets in your pores and stuff. So you can just like grab a wad of it and carry it and not need to immediately take a cold shower to like get all the stuff out of your pores. <laughs> Ice axe, paper towel holder. That was a, a new addition oh, here. I love that. <laughs> that is great. That's, yeah. Works out pretty good. You need a little bungee cord to wrap around it because if the wind comes in, it'll it'll just unroll your roll of paper towels. And then when you get to your location, you just have like piles of paper towels in the bed. And uh, and then yeah, uh, dog food for the uh, the puppy dog because there's usually a puppy dog in there. Murphy dog, are you psyched, buddy? Yeah, you're psyched. Here's the garage. Uh, I put significantly less work into making the garage nice because usually full of bikes and stuff. So we have a bunch of L-Track here. Um, and then we just have a bunch of uh, little like fork mounts and then little splitters to hold rear tires in place. So we can stack up to six bikes in here if we get really creative with it. And then uh, mounted this board on the L-Track that we can just move left or right uh, just to kind of separate the gear from the bike so stuff doesn't get in there and fight. And uh, you can kind of configure it whatever way you want. We got straps up here for uh, wheels. So when we take the front tires off, we can put one on the left wall, two across the top, and then one down the right wall. Uh, and then you can see the backs of those bags there. Um, big old action packer full of just the random things that you might need if you know your van dies. And then the battery is actually in front of that. And uh, I always wanted a way to, um, or I always wanted a car with one of these little rocket launcher switches. So that's what I did. There, yeah, I hit the nitrous. Amateurs don't use nitrous oxide. Or the, you know, the back lights. There's yeah. a lot of light from those little guys. Uh, this was a, originally like a full-on box fan, so there's just indents where the windows go. So we just put paneling over those to put insulation behind them so we could keep everything uh, nice and cool inside. And it's pretty good up until about 95-ish. Uh, you know, running the fan, you can run the heater without actually running the heat. So it's just the fan part of the heater and it pulls cold air from underneath the van and you kind of get a column of cold air up through the middle, uh, which sort of acts like AC. And that all does pretty good up until about 95. Past that, it kind of starts to suck. But, uh, and then in cold, it's totally fine. We've uh, took it ice climbing in Cody last winter. We're in the canyon for a week and it was, you know, negative who knows at night and we were hanging out here in shorts and t-shirts and um, yeah, it wasn't a big deal at all. So it's fantastic awesome. winter rig. Oh, and the most important thing, fisheye reverse camera. Yeah. This thing would be a nightmare to back up without that, but. Cool, you got your tools over there. Yeah. Got your gear for this weekend here. Yeah. Big old bed up here. This is fantastic. Made it yourself, which is really cool. The details of 
like all the little climbing pieces that you made in here to like make this like your your own lifestyle rig i really really admire it when you open that door the first time at the range a couple of years ago i was like holy cow because i saw the cams seeing all that throughout and all the little details you put in and it just it makes it amazing so how long did it take you to make this uh five weeks five weeks and it was five weeks pretty much like full build time five weeks um i actually i have a really bad habit of uh either losing jobs or quitting jobs immediately after buying van. I'm two for two now on buying a van and immediately losing my job. You're fired. Uh, but this one, um, yeah, it was a, a five weeks after I quit my job. And if I knew at the beginning what I knew at the end, I'm confident I could have cut that in half. But I made a lot of mistakes. I've, I've rewired this entire van like four times now. The first drawer literally was like hours and all of the rest of them took me like 20 minutes. So you made those drawers from like flat wood? You didn't use like prefab drawers? Huh, no, oh, wow. yeah. When I say I made everything, I mean I made everything. Yeah, so the drawers are just uh, plywood, oh, yeah. pocket screws, cut that hole in the bottom. And then eventually I figured out how to do it, just kind of an assembly line, right? You can just set up the table saw to cut this height, and then you cut all four on this height. Then you set up the table saw to cut this notch. Then you cut the notch down to two. Then you raise the blade and then you cut the back. And then this is, you know, the funny thing is, this is actually like, I can't remember what kind of wood it is, but these it was like pretty expensive wood. Mm -hmm. And this is just plywood. And these actually look way nicer than these. <laughs> Super bums me out. Cause there's more money in this wood paneling on the front than like all of those cabinets. <laughs> and I was like, I should've just done plywood for the whole thing. But I really liked making drawers. I, I didn't think I would, but. The four wheel drive version comes with a stock two inch lift. And that was enough to let us get a uh, 32 inch all-terrain TAs underneath there. Which are pretty good because they, they're good enough snow performance that we can take it ice climbing and then good enough off-road performance that we can take it out to the middle of the desert. We got really sick of being scared of deer. So we put this guy on here, uh, just big old burrow bumper. And then a light bar on the front to do a lot of like driving, you know, 50 miles down a dirt road in the middle of the night to go climbing somewhere. Uh, and the reason that we got this one specifically is it has a skid tank or a skid plate for the def tank. Oh. The def system is really the Achilles tendon in this guy. It, it's really unfortunate that these things have a def system because they're kind of terrible. Uh, but we got the skid plate for that and then we have another skid plate underneath for uh, like the rest of the engine, to get the oil pan, that kind of stuff. And the skid plate was from a different manufacturer than the bumper. So we had to do a little bit of fabbing to like make them play nice. But um, all worked out pretty good in the end. And now I'm not so scared of deer anymore. Adam Riser hates deer. <laughs> Adam, thanks for showing us your rig. Yeah, buddy. Adam is a, like he said, adventurer basically, and a, as well as a great photographer. So if you want, go ahead and follow Adam on Instagram, Adam Riser. Mm -hmm. Put a link right here. Yeah. We out.